Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. So that was a college professor who raised money in 2017 to pay off St. Paul public school student lunch that has agreed to return $120,000 in donations she kept for herself. Now the attorney general's office filed an important action against Pam Fergus in June, claiming she kept most of the $200,000 she raised in honor of Philando Castile, the St. Paul school nutrition worker who was shot and killed by race soldiers during the traffic stop in 2016. Now, according to a settlement agreement, uh, released by the attorney general, Fergus did not admit to any wrongdoing. However, she agreed to make a total of $120,000 in payments to the attorney general by March, 2024. They say, which will be distributed to St. Paul public schools and say for the intended purpose. Now they said this settlement is it helps to ensure that the money donors gave in Philando's name will go back to where it was intended. It is to help St. Paul kids who struggle to pay for school lunches, according to Attorney General Keith Ellison said in a news release. And they said Philando Castile cared deeply about the children he served and the children as they loved him back. Failing to use every dollar raised to help those children was an insult to Philando's legacy and all who loved him. Now the settlement also permanently bars Fergus from engaging in charitable activities that give her access to donated funds or other property. Now they was also asked about potential criminal prosecution. Um, and spokesperson uh, John uh, Stittles said that in all cases where the AGO charities investigation reveals the potential thefts of charitable assets, the AGO seriously evaluates whether a criminal referral is appropriate, and it would do so here. So ultimately, any decision to charge or prosecute this matter is independent of the AGO and up to discretion of the appropriate criminal law enforcement agency. I don't know why she didn't get charged with theft. I mean, they let her pay it back. I say, wow, that's interesting. You, you could pay all that back in two years and you just, they just told you basically you can't raise money no more. She got out of that real good. Didn't she? Now I say Fergus who used to teach at the Metropolitan State University began raising money at youcaring.com as part of the project for one of her courses. It said introduction to diversity and ethics psychology. When donations of Philando feeds children quickly blew past her initial 5,000 goal, Fergus set out to pay off all lunch debt in the district, not just at JJ Hill Montessori, where Castile had worked. Now, the attorney general alleged that Fergus broke state charity laws by failing to register as a soliciting charity, as they failed to keep financial records and falsely claiming that all donated money would be passed on to the schools. As said Castile's mother, Valerie Castile, Initially supported Fergus' efforts, but she alerted the Attorney General after Fergus refused to document where the money went. So I don't know why this woman wanted to raise money like that. If anything, you know, in my practice has always been let somebody else start to go for me, like the family, uh, the parent, whatever. If, that, if that's what they want to do, then do it. You know, I mean, she didn't have to raise all that $200,000 and don't use it. You know what I'm saying? Even if she would have paid off, let's say if she would have paid off all of it, because they said it was $120,000, so I guess 80000 of it, it was cool for her to keep, and they say the other twenty or one twenty, she needed to pay back. If she would have just done the right thing, I don't think people would have had an issue with her keeping something. I don't think they would have. But when you're not doing what's right, people are going to point that out. You know, this, in this day and time, the, the law is going to start changing about, you know, with crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is actually a good thing. Um, it, it, people all over the world can donate to a cause, whatever that may be, just whatever the cause is, just make sure it is, it is what it is. That's all. Um, don't be doing, trying to finesse. Cause you know, people got caught up 
with that well, thing with that Trump thing with build the wall. They was finessing millions of dollars, and they found out they didn't even try to. They didn't put nothing toward no wall. They was keeping it themselves. So, and they got caught up. So yeah, if you're gonna raise some funds, just do what you're supposed to do. Um, but one thing I don't like about the situation is that you know these folks. Every time a black person dies, here come all these folks trying to finesse money. Whether it's the, the liberals with Black Lives Matter came in and finessing money. Every time a black person dies, especially a black man. Here they come finessing money. I know they finesse more money when a black man dies because they didn't finesse as much money with Breonna Taylor. But with George Floyd, oh, shoot, everybody got paid. And then when it's time to get in trouble with criminal charges, they leave, they leave the, the black women with Black Lives Matter, leave them to get in trouble. But we try to tell them that Black Lives Matter, you know, that when you let them liberals come in the way they did, it was going to spell trouble. But y'all let me know in the comments y'all think about this situation. You know, here, this woman, you know, I personally believe she should go to jail. But y'all let me know.